Hi guys, it's Joanna and today's video is about a review comparison and I'm talking about Latafa Teriak and Jean-Paul Gaultier Labelle, the OG version. I did my best Middle Eastern spring perfumes last week and as I featured Teriak there, I asked you guys if you would like to have a more in-depth comparison between these two as I've seen so many comments not only in Fragrantica but also comments in my YouTube comparing these two. So I asked you guys if you would like me to do a more in-depth comparison. And there were some who answered yes. So yeah, here I am. By the way, if you are new here, my name is Joanna and I do reviews and recommendations of affordable and luxury perfumes in my channel. Now if that sounds appealing to you, then please do keep watching and consider subscribing. So today's video will be very quick. Um, first, let's talk about the new ones, which is Latafa Teriyak. As you can see, this is how the bottle looks like. I personally, personally love it. Um, I'm not into snakes, but I think the rose gold and nude color combo really suits the way it smells. I also find the bottle very elegant looking. Now, let's talk about the price. So today it's currently April 12, 2024 when I'm filming this. And the price of this Latafa Teriyak here in Europe, because I'm based in Portugal, is around 40 to 50 euros. Okay. And the price of this John Paul Gaultier, um, the OG in Europe is around 90 to 100 euros for 100 ml so guys we are talking here about half price of john paul gaultier label okay the price of teriyak is almost half of john paul gaultier okay first off i want to mention as well that they are created by the same perfumer my favorite one kentin bish so now let's talk about the scent and i'm gonna talk first about teriyak basically this has caramel, bitter, almond, um, apricot, pink pepper in the top, mm, honey, rhubarb, white flowers, rose in the mid, vanilla, leather, musk, vetiver, and labdanum in the base. And what can I say? This in the beginning slaps you with a heavy dose of caramel and almond. But I think that sweetness is kind of controlled with the pink pepper present there as well because this has an underlying sparkly vibe. As this dries down, there is some tartness as well that is coming from the rhubarb in here. Yes, and in the final dry down, this to me definitely just smells like a rose dominant perfume with thick caramel and honey with that sparkly pink pepper actually it kind of reminds me of kayali sweet diamond pink pepper it is sparkly and sweet but not really light um this fragrance to me just smells very sweet it's like a combo of thick caramel and honey but at the same time there is some sparkly and light factor coming I think from the pink pepper. Uh, I don't find leather um, prominent on my skin. By the way, I've used this several times because I really enjoy using it. It's the first time I sprayed this, it was just an okay, but then there's something about it that makes me uh, use it more and more often. And I feel like the more I use it, the more um, it becomes a love for me. To me, this is somehow of a complex fragrance because even though it starts very caramelized, in the dry down, there is that rose that is peeking through, but not fully. I love the sparkly vibes of the pink pepper in here. So I'm going to describe this fragrance rosy and gourmand because of the caramel and honey that is in here. This doesn't appear to me fruity at all it is a rose gourmand scent to my nose with the prominent note of caramel and honey yeah so that's about teriyak 
when it comes to longevity and projection this on me lasts for a very long time let's say around six to eight hours on skin and eternal on clothes this was my scent of the day on easter sunday and i mentioned before that the dress after wash still smells like teriyak and just in case you're wondering yes i oversprayed as always now let's talk about label this to me is a fruity and sweet kind of fragrance and when i say fruity this is definitely heavy in pear in the opening this has a slight citrusy vibe as well because of the bergamot but as this dries down sweet vanilla is just taking over along with the pear it has an amber and musk in the base it is a kind of amber that is a little bit dark and the musk that is in here is a sweet musk however i consider this fragrance still like a juicy sweet kind of scent that is perfect all year round so that's how la belle smells like to me now this is a very sweet amber musk and pear fragrance so it's fruity sweet while teriyak over here is a rose and caramel honey kind of scent now the question is is it redundant to own both in my opinion no because they are different enough La Belle is fruity sweet, while Teriyak is a rose uh, gourmand. The only similarities I think that they have is that underlying amber and musk. I feel like the underlying um, dark amber and sweet musk uh, are the same in these two fragrances. Now, the next question is, do you still need Teriyak if you have La Belle? Well, that now depends on you do you want to add a rose gourmand fragrance because if you do then yes you might love to add teriyak in your collection to me the longevity and projection of these two fragrances are quite the same um so in my opinion they are worth having but in case in case you don't have both and thinking which one to buy guys this 100 ml is around 40 to 50 euros which means half the price of la belle they are two different perfumes the longevity and projection is the same if caramel and honey appeals to you in fragrances definitely go for teriyak take into consideration that it is going to be sweet and of course if you are into pear like you are more of the fruity fragrances and also you enjoy wearing sweet and fun fragrances you go for la belle but just keep in mind that teriyak is half the price of la belle okay um yeah so that is the review for today guys i hope that i somehow helped someone in here who is undecisive as always 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 i encourage you to try fragrances on yourself thank you so much for watching i hope that it was useful and if you enjoy this kind of review comparison give it a thumbs up and also you can request any two perfumes that you are indecisive of and if i have those two perfumes i can do a quick comparison for you guys thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one bye